I really did not want to do this video here because it is going to point out something that I do wrong. <laughs> Every so often I may do this wrong and I have to repent of it or apologize to that person as well. So let's go to Ephesians chapter 5 verse 4. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. So let's break it down. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking. So what is foolish talking? Cursing people out. speaking about your sexual activities. I know when, let me see, about 10 years ago or so, or when I was in sin, I would speak about to other males about the sexual things that I would do, you know, to females and stuff like that. Actually, I would say it to certain female friends as well that is wrong so cursing speaking about sexual things being very hateful in your speaking very rude very mean so on and so on that is wrong foolish talking nor jesting so let's look up the word jest or jesting jest speak or act in a joking manner that is me <laughs> if you are the type of person that I like speaking to in most cases I am going to joke with you especially if I am comfortable with you I am going to joke with you and I am pretty much a very informal person. And some people may not know what informal is, so let me look it up. Having a relaxed, friendly, or unofficial style, manner, or nature. So I am really down to earth, very relaxed, if I am comfortable with you. So, I usually will joke with people, and the thing with jokes, you never really know which jokes are going to hurt a person or not. For instance, there is this person that I joke with, and with that guy, I can pretty much not say anything dirty or anything like that but I can joke with him and chances are he is not going to get offended by my jokes but if I was to joke with another person in the same way that I joke with the guy that I speak to it may offend that other person. And that is the thing about it. You never really know, even when your jokes are clean, you never know when your jokes are going to hurt someone. And let me say this. Many times when you joke, you may cross the line. And I have crossed the line many times before. And in some cases, yes, I would cross the line and say something that I should not have said. In the cases as that, I would have to apologize to the person and repent afterward. Now, with some people, they may be able to move on after I apologize, as in like, 
we still can speak to each other and stuff like that. But in other cases, they may have to go on their own way, which is their choice. And I don't blame them for it. So that is the thing with jokes. <laughs> you never know which joke is going to hurt someone. And I guess a person, in some cases, a person would have to get to know you first before they can joke with you. I don't know. So let's go back to Ephesians. Neither filthiness nor foolish talking. So we know what foolish talking is. Like cursing, speaking sexually to people, crude, rude, mean jokes and stuff like that. Just speaking that goes against the rules and regulations of God. Nor jesting. Now, this is not saying that you are not supposed to joke. Because it says, neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting, which are not convenient. So you can joke, but make sure that your jokes are not sinful. And make sure that even if your jokes are clean, make sure that your jokes are not offending the person that you are speaking to. Because if you are offending that person, even if your jokes are clean, I would advise you to apologize to that person and repent afterward. Because whether your jokes are clean or not, if it is hurting a person, you need to apologize for it. Because with some people, you can't joke with. And like I said, that is the trouble that I have, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I offend people with my jokes. Sometimes with some people, they love my jokes. So it is this, I don't know, you know, I have to test out the grounds first. <laughs> oh boy. But rather giving of thanks. So what you should be doing is speaking positively to people. Giving thanks to God. Speaking how good things are other than just sinful speaking. Be careful of your jokes, which I do have to be. I have to be careful of my jokes, which is kind of hard, you know, but hey, what can you do? I was thinking about maybe I should never joke with people, but <laughs> like I said, I am not a formal person. And it would be very hard for me to speak to someone, I don't know. So I pray that this makes sense. You are able to tell jokes, but don't offend anyone with them. God bless.